All right, my friends, we've reloaded for a reason and we've kicked some players to the curb. Let's go play some actual international matches. All right, my friends, welcome back in. It's episode two of Back to Our Roots. So here's what I realized as I was editing the last video, I realized that I had not included Denmark nor Holland slash the Netherlands in my leagues. And I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. We're trying to get Dest and that we got some good players playing in Denmark and, and, and uh, also other places in, uh, in the Netherlands. So I went back in and reloaded. And when you do that, it does change your like friendlies that, that you've got. So we've kind of made some adjustments there. I just want to show you the leagues. So Argentina, Brazil, Colombia, Denmark, England, France, Germany, Holland, Italy, Mexico, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, U.S. obviously, and Uruguay. So we got 96,000 players in the count uh, with those changes. I do want to give a shout out before we get too deep into the episode. I got two new patrons that joined the community that supports the work that I'm doing on YouTube. Shout out to Tanker and then Tom Schradel. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot. If that's something that you're interested in learning about, there is a link in the description below. You can throw a buck or two or three towards me uh, as a way of saying thanks for putting out content. Um, I did have a question from somebody recently that said like, hey, I want to give more than a dollar, but I don't want to do $10. Like you should have a $5 tier. And essentially that $1 tier is the one to $9.99 tier. So you can give anywhere in there that you feel led to do that so just wanted to give a shout out to those two people and point that out um so like i said we have switched up some friendlies here i what i've tried to do honestly is get the friendlies as close to what is actually happening in real life or like the schedule that the u.s men's national team has in 2019 now the gold cup stuff hasn't happened yet the nation's league stuff hasn't happened yet so we'll see how that impacts the friendlies we've got set up um so to start the season, I want to say we played Chile and somebody else that I can't remember. So the the first two friendlies, when you load the game and it's the first, essentially the 7th of January or whatever, it's almost all the teams that you'd want to set friendlies with have, like are not available to set friendlies. So we've had to go with Haiti and Colombia, but Venezuela and Jamaica, who the U.S. lost to in friendlies um, with Burhalter, we've set those. Not at the exact same time, but kind of the same ballpark. Again, maybe if the Gold Cup jumps in here we'll be able to grab friendlies like earlier in june or in late may uh, and then the mexico and uruguay games are set up as well um, we have definitely kicked some players to the curb one of the things that i've looked at is scouting um, because well you of course you can't see it right now scouting has been an issue or was an issue with fm19 where i would keep getting reports about the same player even though i was like acknowledge like i don't want to hear about them anymore and it's like they would keep sending a report that hasn't happened thus far but it's not a large sample size so we'll keep a, a look at that they have sent me a recommended squad which i thought was interesting because it uh i'd already called up a bunch of players just to have them all on a list but then it's gone out and find found other ones that I hadn't considered. So I think it's kind of interesting that it's saying, hey, Ethan Horvath, Club Bruges, obviously is an option. Uh, dropping Bill Hamid uh, at DC United, which I will probably do. Well, we'll see. Alex Bono, Toronto FC. Um, I think he's got one cap, yeah, but he's quite not up to par for that. Um, Omar Gonzalez automatically has already gotten the boot from me, so you don't you don't gotta worry about that. Walker Zimmerman, I'd already called up. Miazga it says to drop Aaron Long and bring in Tim Parker, but I think Aaron Long is better than Tim Parker, which is kind of interesting. Now it it could be that you know like hey let's uh, let's get him some more experience, something like that. Um, I did change, by the way, if you saw the the other episode, it's I I put, I put a, a two part series on things that I would change inside of football manager or i do change in football manager like logo packs face packs stuff like that i haven't installed the face packs um because i don't have space on my hard drive i need to wrap up my fm19 content before i do that but i always change the the contract rate to just i i just put euros and per week because it's just it makes it easy from save to save to go like okay that's about what i was paying this type of player right it kind of gives me a baseline for that or a barometer um so it's it's got it's really interesting what who they've um they've recommended we call up i'd already put josh josh Sargent, whose name i can never say uh 
pulled him up. Jordan Morris is out with like a fractured toe, I want to say. And then um, let's take a look. They're, they're asking for Sebastian and Legit, who we're not going to call up. I do love me some Sebastian Legit. I felt he scored that goal against Honduras and then immediately got hurt after that in World Cup qualifying, and it was gutting. Alfredo Morales is injured. Knee tendonitis. But, uh, you know, looks like a good option. He's gotten a little bit of a sniff recently in real life, so thought we would include him. I also changed the attribute colors. I do not like the yellow. Um, it's too... I don't mind it down here, but when it's part of like there's a bunch of yellow it just the yellow and the white are too similar so i always change my colors here to if you're really good 16 and above it's dark green and then i might change that it's still a little bright for me but yeah it, that, that's why that looks probably different and then here you, you can change if you want the biography comparison um which is i think is kind of interesting or the attribute analysis so that looks a little different uh, from a coloring standpoint but i've seen it different I think that might be a bug where it's been different on different players. Like not 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 that the ratings are different, but like the coloring has been slightly different. Um, so we do need to cut some players, but I just want to show you. So we got Zach Steffen. We'll just run these real quick if you want to take a look at them yourself. Um, three and a half star, four star potential. Obviously on loan for Manchester City to uh, Dusseldorf, but he has been starting, so it's not a backup contract, which is kind of disappointing because that means he's not going to be getting games. Although, or is it because it's March 2019? Maybe he. Maybe it'll transition because he really started playing this season, like the 2019 slash 20 season. Uh, DeAndre Yevlin, who's not injured right now, you know, um, he's just came back from injury in real life. Look at the pace and acceleration. Can we take advantage of that on the right wing? Um, Miazga, one of our uh, center backs, right footed, pretty tasty. John Brooks, if he can stay healthy, regular starter at Wolfsburg. Um, quite good. We're going to go ahead and drop Alfredo Morales because it keeps, uh, scrolling down here. Um, uh, we do need to have Hamida. We have to have three keepers. Okay. We'll keep going here. Uh, Fabian Johnson, I think is our, is our solution to left back because we don't have deaths. So that, that stayed the, that stayed the same. Deaths still flat out rejected us. We'll see if we can convince him maybe in, in the September timeframe, if we, if we can get there. Um, but uh, I think, I mean, his tackling is not great. He's either, I mean, it, the fact that he's not getting called in is questionable to me in, in, in real life. Like, we went with Daniel Lovitz over Fabian Johnson. Uh, or Fabian Janssen, whoever, however you want to say it. But either footed can play either wing. Plays for Borussia Mönchengladbach. Is making 48 grand a week. Like, you don't call that guy in? This is the controversial one. Please keep your ugly comments to yourself. I actually had to mute somebody for the first time in a long time on the channel. Um, the last time I did a U.S. Uh, Soccer Federation video um, where apparently because I did not, in, in, in the first six seconds, did not say Michael Bradley is the worst thing that's ever happened to the United States. Therefore, everything else I said was invalid. So pretty controversial figure. He is the team captain. I'm trying to figure out how that works. That's why he's in the squad right now. And honestly, from a an attribute state standpoint, pretty good. Now, acceleration and agility, not great. We can deal with that. We're going to deal with that with our tactic, but I still think he's a good player. I'm not saying he's a terrible player, but Tyler Adams getting in the mix here. Squad player with RB Leipzig obviously ha has had injury concerns since the summer in real life. Weston McKinney, Holding down midfield, also an up and comer, forty eight grand a week. That's ridiculous. Christian Pulisic, as you do, as you do. Um, I think it's funny his jumping reach is seven because he's five foot eight, but he's scored. Uh, let's see, he had a hat trick recently where he scored a, a header, and then he had a chance in the game this past weekend uh, from a header. So come on, you know you might, you might, you might adjust Christian a little bit. Just saying. Um, I do need to put. Ariola on the right wing here, so unless we're gonna go with somebody else, like a Tyler Boyd, give him a give him a run out. Maybe let's see the schedule here. Yeah, we'll 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 give Tyler Boyd a run out. That's not what I'm doing. I did have Jordan Morris there, to be clear. Um so Tyler Boyd, as you see as you see, either footed. And then out the door, up top, holding it down. He can play the complete forward. That's kind of what he does with the U.S. Is he does a lot of hold-up play, but he also, you know, kind of plays that advanced forward. In the counterattacking role, we're just going to have him go. We'll just see how that goes. Again, counterattacking. 
not my forte. We're going to figure out how that goes. William Yarborough plays for Club Leon. First touch is not that great. We have to have keepers. So let's go ahead and add Bill Hamid here. Um, Aaron Long, another option at center back. So we got, got to have one of those. I, this is where it's going to be hard, right? So I've got, I probably just need to look and go, okay, left back. I got Tim Ream, Anthony Robinson. Obviously, Anthony, um, oh, did they buy him? I didn't know that. I thought it was a loan. I mean, I know it was a loan. Um, that's interesting. So has has the potential, right? Um, and maybe, you know, against the lesser opposition, we give him the start. Um, Timothy Chandler is kind of a potentially controversial figure in uh, in for U.S. soccer because uh, there were reports that he was, you know, in the squad saying like, "Hey, you got to take care of your club duties because they're the one that pay they're the ones that pay the bills." Uh, and he hasn't really gotten a sniff from the Federation since then. Uh, I'm not saying I agree with that, but I, I also like DeAndre Yevlin and Reggie Cannon. Um, so it also recommended we call up Alejandro Bedoya. I love me some Alejandro Bedoya. I think he is one of the most underappreciated recent players for the U.S. Men's National Team. Vice captain, I think, at some point, and also just like willing to do whatever you want him to do. You play him on the right wing, he'll do that. You want to play him in midfield, he'll do that. Like, I just, I just, I love me some Alejandro Bedoya. Um, I'm gonna have to come in here and figure out how we look overall. Maybe we drop a Lee win. He's not played a whole bunch and he's 32, so he's not gonna. I think that's probably our choice there. Let's send him home. And that leaves Jackson Yule, who is an up-and-comer. He's 21. A young lad, if you will. Um, I think if Adams and McKinney are healthy, we got Nagby, Bedoya, and Holmes. I think Jackson will miss out. Maybe he can get with the B team or the Olympic team or something like that. We do want to – I mean, he's cap-tied, but I think he's cap-tied. Let's check. It doesn't matter. None of these are cap-tied games, I guess. Um, he is declared for us. Okay, good. So we'll send him home for now. And I don't know about you, but I got to get this organized in a way that makes sense. Uh, the players that get kicked to the curb, Omar Gonzalez, Bobby Wood, and Jossie Zardes. Um, Bobby is the, the second rated striker um, like on the roster. And you could argue having just two strikers, probably not the most ideal situation. But Boyd could play up there. Pulse it could play up there. Like we've got options there. I'll go through and look at it. But um, just from an, a star rating standpoint, Bobby is rated above Jossie and below uh, Altador, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, he just hasn't played very well in Germany. He like needs to get a move to MLS to get his confidence back up and start banging in goals, in my opinion. So let me go figure out what our final roster is going to look like, and then we'll move forward to the game. All right. Now we got all organized. We got. John uh, Fabian here covering the left back. Um, Tim Ream can also play there in a bind, um, but he's definitely more of like that no nonsense. I, I'm assuming that's what he's rated. I didn't look. It says he can play fullback. He's really more of a no nonsense fullback, but you know, quite good. Um, I think a, a bit underrated because it was Fulham. Um, Zimmerman also covers the middle. Long covers the middle. Um, Reggie Kev Cannon covering the right. Again, Fabian could play over there as well. And then Holmes, Nagby, and Bedoya in the middle. Ariola uh, covering the wings. And Sergeant N Nagby obviously can play on the wings as well. Um, on either side. He's, he's so versatile. I can't believe he's like, he's either, I know he turned down a call up for like family issues in real life. But I can't believe he's not been called up since then. So I think there's some sort of beef between Nagby and the Federation or Nagby and the coaching staff. So he doesn't have that with me. Yeah, so we're, we're good. Uh, things that are disappointing that I've discovered thus far in uh, international management, uh, besides Dest still rejecting us, is there is no... Uh, and obviously, we, I think we kind of saw this in the first episode. There's no training. There's no development center. There's no, like, you can't see, like, you have to come in here 
and I gotta like, come to my custom international selection to like look at the up and comers, right? And like who looks really good, like Gianluca Busio, quite quite good. Um, 16 years old, right? We would like to make sure we keep tabs on some of these players uh, that just bombed out of the under 17 World Cup in real life. But there's no like development center to kind of give you a heads up on that. Um, like you got a Chris Glosser who's been um, quite good, I think, for my Bayern. Or, or is he? That's interesting. I thought he was. I think it's somebody else. There's a whole bunch of kids playing in Germany, which is which is exciting. So there's no development center. There's no training. Like I I I can set the tactic right. Coming back to our tactic here, we've gone cautious, fluid counterattack. What was interesting, um, if you come here to add a new tactic. With the players we called up, it changed what we thought we were going to be good at. Um, and actually, based off of not having Jordan Morris and some of the players we dropped, it was saying vertical tiki-taka. Um, and now it's changed it. To, it was like, instead of gegenpressing pressing wing play and fluid counterattack, it was ver vertical tiki-taka, wing play, and fluid counterattack. So now it's it's kind of dropped down to here. So we're playing fluid counterattack. That's, that's kind of the idea. Uh... Cancel. There we go. Um, and the other one was like, if, if we're slightly better, we could try wing play or we're playing like weaker opposition. We'll try that. So we're not always just letting teams come at us. So kind of the same idea, but again, combating Bradley, not having the pace and acceleration and all that kind of stuff, using him as an anchor man um, or, you know, like a defensive midfielder on defend where he can use his passing and tell him to pass a little more aggressively. I think that's probably what we're going to do. Um, but that way we got a, you know, deep line playmaker and Adams. I'm trying to find, I think what we're probably going to do with these guys is leave them pretty similar to in each, each system. Um, but tell them to like pull like, I want him to be inverted boy to one attacking uh, or yeah, probably attacking He's either footed. So he was pretty good as an inside forward, I think. His crossing left something to be desired, even though it's a 12 in the game. In real life, it was kind of like... Mm. Um, so I don't know. Maybe maybe that won't stretch the field enough, but then we can have the overlap here with our other players. So I haven't changed any of this. Like n None of these options have really, from what I could tell, changed between the game. Um So all that looks the same as FM19, but it's just kind of figuring out with our squad what we're going to do with them. So now that I've rambled on quite quite a bit, I'm going to hop us forward. We'll call up our team officially, make it official, and then uh, we'll play uh, we'll play Haiti in the first game. So just to show you, the, the selection screen looks the same as all the other ones um, in terms of picking your national squad. Just hit uh, confirm squad. And perfect timing. Literally the moment after we announce it, we lose Walker Zimmerman to a six week injury and we can draft a replacement. This is what the national pool looks like just to kind of give you an idea. So it's similar. Um, what's interesting is they've gotten rid of the, like when you when you would click filter in, in FM 19, it would like slide out and kind of like mess this up. And now it's just kind of all together, which I kind of like. I do not like this screen though, because it doesn't like, this doesn't give you enough information. Like here's a giant list of players. Good luck picking one, you know, like just as a stock thing, I think that, you know, could do with some improvement. Um, oh, I didn't call Tim way in. I meant to call Tim way in. So Tim way is going to get called in. All right. All right. You can still hold the team meeting. Here we go. Uh, right. So let's look at the options. Cause I, I, you know, uh, miles on Twitter was saying that, uh, miles being the, the director of the studio that makes the game in case you don't know, saying that they've given more options in the, like maybe it was just press conferences. Okay. But we'll see. Friends, a big opportunity to impress me. Working with competitive matches. Need to make sure we don't take this light. Cause it's a friendly morale is good. The moment the last minute is a bad result here. Blah, blah, blah. You're, you're getting old. Make a count. Use your experience. Okay, let's go Morales good. All right. All right. Yes. Look at that green. I am a legend. That's what I'm talking about, my friends. All right. This is how you select your captain. 
All right, our assistant is recommending Bradley stays captain. In terms of leadership, he does have the best leadership on the squad, and he's a 17, which, again, you can't see because it changed the colors. That's I just don't understand that. Um, so I guess I'll have to change my preferences here or change my skin. And then John Brooks is a vice captain versus Aaron Long. I kind of like John Brooks, though. Weston McKinney, though. Maybe not immediately, but maybe next go around as Bradley ages out, Weston could take over as vice captain, kind of move everybody up because Brooks is going to be around for quite some time. So I know it's going to be controversial because again, if you don't, if you're not in the United States or have a great passion for the U.S. Men's National Team, maybe you just don't understand. I'm sure there's somebody in your squads that people are like. I can't believe they called that guy up again or whatever, and uh, that is Michael Bradley. So. I think for our squad, for what we're trying to get done here, again, you don't want to just have all youngsters. I think it's a nice balance. It doesn't mean he has to play every game. Okay, everyone relax. All right. Here's your team advice, which is a new thing, or it looks different. So, recommending that he's recommending Wea and Pulisic versus Boyd and Pulisic. This is Haiti. We're going to play Boyd first, and then we'll, we can bring in Wea and put Pulisic over here or Nagby or whatever. Um, aside with McKinney, Adams, Bradley, everything else we agree on, although Brooks not being a – I think it was a ball-playing defender. Or no, this is the balanced balanced attack. Um, but you can kind of see that, which is, which is kind of neat. So you can use suggested squad. You can't see. I thought there was a thing where it would tell you. Okay, can you shoot? Tell me why. Why? He's a current international player of experience. Morale is high and he's in great spirits. That's not a reason for you to get a spot, bro. Um, okay, that was interesting. So it is better, but I definitely think, like, if, if I showed you my, like, when you first opened the game, it definitely looks like they've taken my face and, like, peeled it off and, like, stuck it on front of somebody rather than it being part of a head. I think it just needs a little bit of work. Just, just, just a little bit. Um, here's the press conference. We can take a look at it. Let's see if the options have changed here. Yellow one's on cap okay yeah he's gonna treat it professionally that I, that was the same option as an fm19 um yeah why would we be upset they're leaving i guess that's just a default question right like that happens happened a lot in the aaron gobra series about ireland it's like yeah but mls is not that great so yeah we should be happy that we're sending people overseas of course um i'm confident that the squad's got what it takes my friends they better against Haiti. I mean, let's be honest. All right, my friends, off we go. We're going to see how long this lasts. This may just be the one game um, with uh, with Haiti. We're going to play, I think we can get away with playing positive. Let's be honest. Uh, focus play, overlap left and right, high tempo. This is the wing play tactic. So this is not the counter uh, counterattacking tactic. So we're hoping to get... Yeblin and Robinson forward. Let's see. His crossing and dribbling. I just want to see what he looks like on attack here. All right. Not bad versus Yevlin. Yeah, I think I like it like that with Yevlin on support and Robinson on attack. No ball playing. Just a straight goal uh, goalkeeper. Um, we are doing a lower line of engagement, but a standard line. So these guys drop back a little bit, but everybody else. Th for this, we can go, I think, complete forward. Um, since we're being more positive, again, hold it, play, getting it up to out the door, just not having him just only run forward. Um, I do want to give out the door a run out, right? Like, to start, he's he's in form, right? He's Matt Sharp. Some of these, woof. Eh. I'm a little nervous, not going to lie, not going to lie. But the idea is we could substitute six of these guys. So we're going to roll out our best squad um, and see how they do, except for maybe Robinson here instead of uh, Fabian. Good old Fabian. But I want to see if they can play together. Um, you know, this is our debut and all that kind of stuff. So, let's see. All right. Do you do you click that box that says, you know, are you sure you want to continue? Like, don't show this again. Okay, this looks different. Does this look? This looks more spread out to me. Um, and more definitive as to like that's a DM. 
This is definitely more spread out. This this guy is these folks are like not even on the pitch. Hmm, I don't know if that's supposed to be happening. Let's see. Okay, all right. You can you can delegate from here. I'm not gonna do that, but I, I like that you could do that. Um, give him a bit of a morale boost. Let's see what the assistant says. No reaction. Anybody? Assistant has been taken off. <laughs> Team talk duties. Uh, it's a special day. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Pulisic appears to have a handed role that doesn't really suit him. Have you seen Christian Pulisic play the game of football? Um, right. I guess I could have shown that in, walking in. Um, okay, so let's take a look here in terms of settings. I typically do one of these. We'll have to see what that looks like. I typically take off the notification settings or, or well, like I don't care about important scores typically. That kind of annoys me. I'm gonna leave it on for now. We're gonna do key highlights because we don't want to spend all day here and we'll see how the international match um, length looks. So, okay, right. Looks a little more human. So that's kind of interesting. We'll have to see. I, what looked good in some of the gameplay I've seen online. You can see, obviously, the pitch already getting torn up. Um, it said it was like 77 degrees, but I didn't think to look to what the weather was because that's never been all that important. So now you can kind of see the, the, the grass getting torn up and all that. The other one picks up a yellow. There's still a way, right? You can come in here, ease off your tackles. So this this is, it's the same, right? Same buttons, at least it looks to be. Nothing really changed other than now they're in polygons. And they don't fill in all the way. It just kind of goes around it. I don't know if I like that. I kind of like the fill in. It's very clear as to what you're doing. All right, let's see. Tyler Boyd pings it forward. Can he find Pulisic? He does. Pulisic, who's not Matt Sharp. That was a shot, apparently. That wasn't deflected. Oh my, that was poor, lads. All right, we're going to go early here with a demand more. Okay, they like that. Very, very vibrant green text here. That's, I mean, a piece of me is like, are those weird shadows? But I guess it's where the, the pitch has gotten torn up and Weston McKinney has smashed it home. And that is a good relationship that they have together there with Pulisic and McKinney. Um, we'll take it. We'll take it. That was a laser beam. Watch a little bit slower here. I guess it's gone director. Boom. And it does give you the slow-mo on the goal still. Uh, we'll, do, well, too late. I was going to go to behind the goal for that. So we're up 1-0 on Haiti. Fans probably not too thrilled, to be honest with you, right? Like, we should be doing but now. Maybe I should have put it on attacking. I'm going to say... Um, you've played well. There's still room for improvement. No, no reaction because they don't know me. Don't get sent off. Meh. I mean, seven shots, four on target, but, you know. Come on, boys. Uh, we will take uh, Altidore off here at the 60th minute because he's not doing exceptionally well. Let's see how this goes with Matt Miazga at the back. Okay, curl on the ball. Robinson. Anthony gets it to Pulisic. Is he going to overlap? Pulisic holds it up. McKinney gets it to Robinson. Robinson takes a touch. Okay, all right. McKinney pings it in. Tries to find Boyd. I don't know if that's McKinney's strength there. Yedlin gives up on that. I guess he's on a yellow. Maybe he's even easing off his tackles. Maybe, perhaps. Maybe, perhaps. Pings it forward. Newcastle-ish. Just get it forward. Boyd, inside forward, switches his feet, gets it to McKinney. I do like the animations being different. The crowd looks a little bit better. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, what is Zach Steffen doing? What is Zach Steffen doing? All right, Altidore's coming off. Josh Sargent is going to save our bacon. Anthony Robinson's coming off. This is not what we... This is not how this is supposed to... Well, welcome to, I guess, um, the United States, my friends. This is what happens. It's early days. It's early days. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put this behind goal. There we go. We're going to skip that. And we are going to demand more. 
from the lads. And then we're going to take off in this situation, right? So you got to be tactically flexible, Greg. Um, we're going to take and put somebody up here, I think. Oh, no, no, no. You go to doing... You go do some pressing for you. Are you good at that? You do you, mate. That's fine. And then no one can do this job. Pulisic can do that job. He can play in the middle as a 10. What are you talking about? You people are crazy. Um, and then we'll bring in some Timothy Weah. Because, yeah, we will, my friends. Uh, McKinney, I'm going to put in more of a support port roll yeah yeah you need to come out more as a sweeper keeper I, I could pull up the the line or something like that we're not gonna we're not gonna do that just yet all right immediate reaction from the americans pulisic look at the passing look at that it's amazing yevlin heads it down adams weak shot but goes in what was the keeper doing? Is that I'm the Haiti keeper? Or was that a glitch? We'll get it here in slow motion. I can't believe they don't think Pulisic can play the 10. Way up. Across. Okay. It, maybe it was the match engine looks a little... I mean, I know that was slow motion. But uh, maybe it just was the angle or something like that. Where it didn't look as, as good as it needed to if that makes sense um okay we're gonna because we got the goal we're gonna go back to playing positive and we're gonna bring in adams uh, oh no let's see because trying to keep people fresh to play columbia right so that's what i'm thinking we've made three subs we get three more so i would like to take all of these guys off uh right and that's what we'll do. We'll just do it like this. And we'll figure out where they go here in just a second. Alright, Nagby is right only. Really? Okay. Because he plays on the left. That's odd. Uh, Bedoya, what do you like to do? You want to be a box-to-box? -box? You go right ahead, mate. Holmes... We'll have him get involved in the attack. And then Nagby, we will tell to be a supporting Mazala. Maybe he can take, as he cuts in, he can kind of cut over. Huh? Maybe? Is that GHG does tactics, or is that just me being crazy? Come on, boys. Timothy Weah chips it in. Holmes takes a dive. Oh, I'm not used to seeing like really good penalty taking on my saves. Way with a 14. Can the youngster handle it? Let's see. We got the one goal cushion. I mean, he's definitely the best penalty taker. Or is it okay? Because there is that option where if you got a player on like a brace, it'll automatically let them take it regardless of their penalty taking. So you got to watch that. Way of slots at home. Nice and easy, my friends. So we got work to do, for sure, for sure. Pings it. Pings it, my friends. Sprangers. That's a name. Oh, Nagby intercepts that. I like it. Gets gets in the passing lane there. Wea drives forward, takes a touch, kicks it right to the keeper. All right, all right. I, again, I'm not saying the crowd's outstandingly different, but it does look to be a little different. There's more variety. I like that. Um, it looks like the animations are different. That was a nice header from... Who was that? Nobody knows. Someone tall on our team. Probably a center back. The redhead sergeant up top. Okay. There's still enough time here. So I don't love that we had to bring on... You know, a, a more attacking formation. But again, may, that could be user error, right? Like, that could be managerial error because I don't know how, how to do it correctly myself. Boyd draws his man and then way up pings it over. But I like that he got the guy to commit there. That was good. 
And then that was the game. All right, my friends. Played well indeed. I When you're trying to build that rapport, hey, guys, great job. Great job. You know, we want to be positive with those things. We want to be positive with those things. Tyler Adams, obviously, domination. I did want to show you um, because I did do the name fix um, and all that. This is something, again, if you haven't watched those videos um, that I've put out, you need to go back and do that. This is huge because it has the actual players, not the made-up uh, fake players. Because what I think happens with Football Manager, I haven't read up on this, but just a, a, my my theory, is that because of the licensing issue where they don't put in the German players, it puts in fake players based off of Germany's youth attributes, right? Like how they develop youth and players and all that kind of stuff in their world ranking. And they're just amazing all the time and crush people. So I'm curious if if with this change, if it's more like all the other national teams. Um, but I think my friends, we are in this portion of what I recorded 13 minutes now, I, I, the other portions is like all cut up, but I think that's going to be it for today. So we, we got to take a look at a couple of the things that I wanted to show you from an international standpoint. We are going to play Colombia and see how our counterattacking tactic looks. If you can leave a comment, if you're really good at counterattacking stuff, I, I would be more than open to hearing your feedback as to what to do with that. Um, any changes here, things like that. What I'm trying to do is get us, and maybe doing more tighter marking and more urgent. I'm probably going to make that change actually right now. Um, maybe not more urgent, but like being physical is kind of old school US, right? So that's what I kind of think of with tighter marking is like we're going to be on our opposition. We're going to be there. We're going to be bumping up against them, elbowing, winning the ball off of them, stuff like that. Maybe not gigging pressing and like running at them from like a running out of position. Like we, we want to keep our shape. Um, so maybe that's something to consider here with this. But it does have, as part of the fluid counterattacking style, going more urgent. I just... You know, I like the tighter marking personally. So let me know what you think about that. If you've enjoyed this episode, I am recording. I just recorded through um, daylight, uh, whatever, fallback, when, when when the U.S. changes hours. I'm actually, so my recording software is really confused as to the order of, uh, like, why, why is this one that I recorded after? What does the timestamp say before? Ah, it's because... I'm burning through those hours in the middle of the night. But if you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you're new right here, subscribe. And uh, I'm going to be pumping out a lot of FM20 content and other stuff like that. Again, thanks to the patrons that joined um, recently that we shouted out. Have a good one. We'll see you soon.